It's crazy, subhanAllah, today after Eid prayer, I was uh, helping lead a halaqa for converts. And I asked this question, what was the one thing or something that you gained from Ramadan? And then what was something that you lost? And it was crazy, subhanAllah, I was asking that question from a very hedonistic and selfish standpoint. Like, what did you gain spiritually from Ramadan? What was that one thing that really uplifted you? And then what was like maybe a bad habit that you lost or something? And subhanAllah, you know what the answer that I heard multiple times over and over and over again was? SubhanAllah. They literally just said, I'm just happy I found you all. I'm just happy I found you all. And SubhanAllah, you know what's crazy? When somebody's feeling sad, you know what I keep hearing people say? Oh, I'm so sad. I'm down on life right now. I'm down bad. I need time alone. I need time alone. I need time alone. And you know what this proves to me? SubhanAllah, there are people out there who have nobody to turn to and they're the ones who experience what true loneliness is and they realize how important it is that they need to be with the community. And SubhanAllah, when people are feeling bad that do have a community, their reflex is to seclude themselves. And you know what this proves to me? That being alone is not our natural state. If you look at lions and how they hunt wildebeests, it's very interesting. So you'll see a huge stampede of wildebeests running, running, running. And then what do you see? The lionesses waiting on the side. They don't just go in straight in. And as a matter of fact, what's really crazy is while the wildebeests are prey, all it takes is actually one good hit to the gut of the lion from the wildebeest, and that's it. The lion is gored, they're dead. That's all it actually takes. So what's really interesting is that the lions wait. They don't just go straight in towards the pack. They wait. And subhanAllah, you begin to see a couple of the wildebeest slow down. A couple of the younger ones slow down. A couple of others separate from the pack. An old one, the elderly ones, the sickly ones, they get away. They get away, subhanAllah, and that's when the lionesses strike. And that's when you see they chase them down and kill their prey. Has this not rung a bell for you yet? SubhanAllah, whenever we feel sad, shaitan wants us to be alone. Shaitan is convincing you, you know what? Oh, you're really sad right now. It's time to be alone. You need some alone time. And then SubhanAllah, when you go alone and you're literally alone in your room at night, what do you feel? You're in, a, you're in like a fit of despair. SubhanAllah, you are darker than you were before and then it ends up becoming a negative feedback loop because shaitan knows that the best cure for you is to be with the ummah. So when you are feeling down, you need to be in good company. You need to have good influences on you. And subhanAllah, these converts know exactly what they needed because they've been alone all along. And subhanAllah, this is a lesson for all of us. When you're feeling down, do not seclude yourself. It's at that moment that you should not listen to your gut. You should not listen to the whispers of shaitan. And you should re-include yourself into your communities, your best friends, your good influences, and your um, you know, masjid community. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us those spaces so that we can go and cling onto them and hold fast to the rope of Allah when we are sad. Eid Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum.